you here to help me uh, celebrate my last night in lockdown? That. <sighs> and I was wondering if you could help me with something. Girl trouble? How do you always know? Well, come on, it's my job. Let's hear it. <sighs> it's Danny. You're my, uh, you're my Aunt Vicky, right? Uh -huh. I've seen pictures. I've seen pictures of you, too, but they don't do you justice. Thanks, but I have to go. Uh, oh, wait, wait, Danielle. Honey, you seem awfully upset. Do you want to talk about it? I'm right here. <laughs> I mean, what am I supposed to do? Slobber all over an aunt I, I barely even know. All my other nieces slobber all over me. I've never minded, so it's only fair that you would, too. What the, what, what's wrong? Is it Todd? What happened? Oh, honey. And what about Cole? Is he going to pay for this? Don't worry about Cole. We're going to get him a good lawyer. Ah, uh, yeah. Play your favorites. Todd, come on. Stop. Cole tried to kill me. And John's going to let him go. Back to John. Fine. Oh, my gosh. Get these off of him. I'm afraid I can't do that. Why? He's not going anywhere. I wish I could, but in a situation like what this... What situation? Jordan... What did my son supposedly do that was so awful? He tried to kill Todd Manning. Eli, won't you come in here and make yourself comfortable while you wait for Blair? Thank you. I hope I'm not interrupting. No, not at all. There is, after all, safety in numbers. Come on, Dorian. I'm not following. Kelly and I were just discussing the questionable circumstances surrounding her mother's death. Right. Blair mentioned that you and John McBain went to California to investigate. She was under the impression that you hadn't turned up anything. A patient from the sanitarium, a friend of my mother's, showed up at my office today claiming he witnessed my mother's murder. And then, when Kelly left her office for a little while when she came back, that man was dead. So, you think he was murdered too? That's what I think. But John is so sure. This is harassment. He's a criminal with a private jet. The judge considered him a flight risk. He's also in the ER, suffering from near catastrophic injuries. Well, then you shouldn't be moving around. He'll heal faster. You're gonna be exonerated. It's not gonna happen. I am going to sue you for this, Mr. McBain. Well, then you might start preparing for the wrongful death suit that Marty's gonna file against you. A countersuit? Is that the best you got? No, that's, that's her thing. I don't sue. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch him go to trial. I'm gonna be there when a jury finds him guilty. John couldn't find any evidence that Rodney died of anything other than natural causes. Please, it could not have been a mere coincidence. The man shows up in your office, says he knows who killed your mother, and and then he just suddenly dies? Oh, excuse me. Be wise to listen to your Aunt Kelly. She's right to be concerned about your safety. Pardon me. Let me take there. This. You see, Eli agrees with me. You know, if you had a boyfriend like that, you wouldn't need a bodyguard. Will you just drop it? I don't need a boyfriend or a bodyguard. Ladies, I am so sorry. I have to go. What about your date with Blair? Oh, I have a feeling we're both going to be busy with the same thing. What's wrong? Todd Manning's in the hospital, and apparently Cole Thornhart put him there. Way to go, Cole! <laughs> the pain's really lost it. Man lost a baby, Todd. Suffering. What am I doing? If you ask me, you're not helping yourself. Just get me out of this. Me? Who else?